to Gabal. Let's head out. I mean, talk about good lighting, my gosh. I'm wearing this Pistola little jumpsuit. No, it's not a jumpsuit. It is fully addressed. I need to throw on some sneakers, but I, I couldn't figure out what belt to wear, so we settled on no belt. We're going with Escalon. They so kindly gave me two VIP wristbands for Saturday. We're gonna go and have a lot of fun. So let's head out. I have this super cute clear purse. I have no idea where it's from. Honestly, I was given it uh, when I went to the Tarte Bruce Springsteen concert and I love it. So you could wear it both ways. Cute, right? Hi guys, happy Sunday. I have been sitting on that couch. Yesterday got ball was so fun. It's fun to go to a music festival. I definitely am going to some more concerts and stuff this summer. Today's exciting because the mattress finally gets here so we get to sleep on a mattress tonight. Not sure if we have sheets that fit that mattress. Speaking of which, but I think that we could just figure it out with like the stuff that we have here for the time being. My apartment tour didn't go as planned. I don't need to get into it, but I wanted to kind of do an apartment walkthrough of like what I currently have, what the plans are, just like what's happening. My apartment now has some furniture in it and you know, just there's things that I just wanted to kind of like do an apartment walkthrough so that you guys can see like the layout and everything just shot by me on my like wide camera. Cause I feel like it just, We'll show the space a little bit better. So I wanted to do like a apartment tour of what we're working with so far. So let's do that. I was about to put the sheets on my bed and I figured this would be a great time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Helix. Helix has premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs. They're conveniently shipped to your door. I'll overlay some footage here of Ben and I getting this thing unboxed. But basically we just put like one piece into the other. It was super easy. We took the quiz online and decided on what mattress to get. We're both side sleepers and we wanna just something kind of neutral in the middle. So we decided to go with the Helix Midnight Elite mattress. I am loving it so far, but there's actually a hundred night sleep trial for you when you get the mattress to your door. I have to say like I wake up every morning and I feel great, but the bed is also so freaking comfortable. It really is like a premium mattress, especially this Elite line. The entire Helix lineup, it, it's massive. They have mattresses for everybody. Like I said, they have their Lux and what I did, the Elite collection. They even have the Helix Plus, which is mattress designed for big and tall people. They have Helix Kids mattresses. Everybody's so different, so that's why you go on, you take the quiz, you can find something that's really gonna be perfect for you. And it seems like this is perfect for me. I, I, I'm loving it so far. The setup was so easy, came right to my door. Truly no complaints, just so happy. So if you're moving or if you're in the market for a mattress, uh, definitely check out Helix. And they're also having a sale right now. It's their 4th of July sale right now and they're running a great deal. It's a great time to upgrade your mattress. You can get 30% off an Elite or Lux mattress plus two free pillows, or you could take advantage of 25% off site-wide. So check out the Helix site for more details. I also feel like when it's like first person shot like this, I'll so don't mind myself tan hands. I know they're really, really bad. So we're just gonna go like this, okay? I feel like when it's shot like this, you can kind of get a better idea because it's like a walkthrough. I'm gonna try to hold the camera steady. So when you walk into the apartment, this is, I just love this apartment because I feel like the layout makes sense. It's a big hallway and then like the living room kitchen straight ahead. Then we have two bedrooms, bathroom right here, laundry closet, which I have been doing laundry. There's a lot of like things I wanna do to this apartment, including, have my dad help me put a shelf in up there so that I have additional storage, hallway, dark finishes, half bath. A lot of people were saying like, oh, I wish I could see the bathroom better. I will say the bathrooms are amazing. The colors in this one are some of my favorite. You can put the lights on like even more if you want. I just like this like soft lighting like this. I just love all the storage that these offer. I haven't even really gone into these drawers much yet. And there are medicine cabinets here. Cute, me and my little sweatsuit that isn't a sweatsuit, but I made it a sweatsuit. <laughs> Half bath, so no shower, but just perfect, like powder room, you know, for guests. Back into the hallway, I got this from Amazon. Great rolling cart. I can link this down below, it's fantastic. I feel like it fits a lot of laundry and we've been <laughs> moving through the laundry. So now we're moving forward a little bit. We have the coat closet, which 
Heart and Co. did help me do. None of Ben's stuff is in here yet. So once he like moves his stuff, we're gonna have to like reconfigure a bit. And like that is not gonna stay like that up there. But this is like temporarily just so that it's somewhat organized and the color thing is like so satisfying. This shoe rack I had at my old place in the closet. That's from Amazon. I feel like it's really helpful. This closet, I didn't get done by like professionally, you know, like ripped out and redone. This is just the way that it came. And that's because there are like electrical boxes and things that I like couldn't cover. So I just was like, let me just leave it as it is. I love the dark finishes. We keep going. I'll show you guys the bedrooms now. Cause I feel like that makes more sense. This is the secondary and this is the primary. We'll do the secondary first. Cause this room is the most messy of all of them. This is like where I'm throwing all of my stuff that I'm just not sure where it goes. We're still unpacking. So keep that in mind. That's why this room is a bit of a mess. Cause I have books that I haven't like unpacked yet. Cause I don't really know what I'm doing in the way of a bookshelf. A lot of you guys were like, yes, you need to do a build out here. Like my dad would help me put in some shelves and then I would get some sort of like a plush thing so that I can make this like a seat, like a reading seat. I feel like that would be really cute. This is my favorite view. This The view from this bedroom is definitely the best because you can see a lot of like lower Manhattan and the water, you can see the boats go by, it's beautiful, seriously. And it's like a perfect cityscape, I love it. So yeah, this is just where I've just been throwing everything. So it's just like stuff that I need to take home to Long Island, linens that I, I need to figure out what I'm doing in the way of a linen closet because I don't have one of those right now. I have these two storage pieces that I'm gonna put somewhere, just gotta figure out where. A lot of like, you know, art and accessories and stuff like that. I gotta figure out where it all goes. The closet in here, Heart & Co. also helped me do. So, <laughs> you know, I have a lot of clothes. <laughs> they actually originally didn't put like my dresses in here. They were in, an, in Ben's closet because he has more like long hanging space, but I was like, I'm not gonna do that. Like his closet's gonna be his and I'll just use this as my second closet and he could also come into it because I just feel like that makes more sense versus like me going into his like, no, I'm just gonna do it this way. So we have shoes and it's organized. I mean, I think you guys saw that video. It was like moving vlog, the last moving vlogger maybe. Dresses, sweaters. I love the build outs here. So I haven't even really gone into like these drawers or anything. So maybe I'll do like linens here. I haven't quite figured out the flow yet. It's like my old apartment all in one room. The bathroom, I'm gonna put a glass wall here because I really want this to be like functional for visitors this summer. And instead of just putting a shower curtain, I'm like, let me just do it right. So I contacted a glass company. We're gonna put a wall there so that I could still use it because this is the tub so that you could still use it as a tub, but you could also shower. So that will be nice. Same thing as before. Bathroom, cute, cute. And now we'll go into my bedroom. The hallway lights, like the color of them is like yellow. I need to change the bulbs. This is, okay, so this is the bedroom. I love the two sinks. I love the color in here. We put a hook on the back of the, door with just a command hook so that it doesn't damage or anything, but we realized we needed more like towel hanging space in here versus what just came with the place. But still, and I ordered uh, from Amazon some like suction shelves for more products because clearly like we've gone onto the floor with the products. That little shelf is so cute, but it only fits a little bit. I love the two sinks. I love this bathroom so, so much. It's not quite organized yet, so. <laughs> I'll avoid showing you guys, but I did like unpack all my bathroom stuff, which feels nice. Back into the main room. This is good because it's nice and empty because I'm about to get the mattress delivered and then hopefully the bed soon. So that will go here. Nice, spacious room. This is definitely a big bedroom. I'm probably gonna get a new dresser and side table. So I need to sell these, but I'm gonna hold on to them for now just until I like figure out exactly what I'm doing. And I'll probably keep my vanity because I love her so much and she's so cute. Love a Brooklyn view while we're getting ready. Really, really pretty. And I do have like my keys and things there. But for the most part, this room is unpacked, which is nice. The two closets, I'm not going to go into Ben's just because he has his stuff in there. But this is mine. You guys saw in the last video, they did a great job organizing Hart & Co. And I did order a stool. I linked this on my Amazon shop just so that I can like, you know, get to the things on the top. I feel like you really need a stool to access all of that, so. Really, really cute, right? We love her. It's not done yet though, because the, they need to come back and hang something and this handle's not right, but once it's actually done, it will be better, so. And now the living room, I'll show you the progress in here. There really isn't any, this is another room that at least the boxes are gone. Well, not all of them, but this is gonna be all flipped around. The layout is gonna be completely changed. We just wanted to like kind of build the couch and then figure it out. It's a modular couch, so you can 
change it, like take off the end pieces, flip it around, a lot of options with that. So the couch is gonna actually end up on this wall. TV is gonna go there. So this setup is gonna be completely flipped around. So I barely even wanna show you guys, but I just wanna show the possibilities with the space because now that there's nothing over here, you can really get a feel for how large this is. This is where the table and chairs will go. Ordered some new bar stools, the kitchen. She's looking gorge. It's really spacious, so I feel like there's a lot of possibilities. Got a garbage can here, this is a simple human one. Nice stainless steel, sleek, simple human. I still have some things I need to put away over there, but everyone who brought flowers or sent flowers has been so sweet. They're gorgeous. I need to light this candle, look at this. How perfect, new home by Homesick. <laughs> Love that. Still need to organize some things over here. This is where we've been sleeping, so we've been like making, quote, making the bed every day, but now that the mattress is coming, all of that can go into the bedroom, which is very exciting, big things. So yeah, I guess that's like the overview of the place. I hope that that helps to give better like perspective. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything else like more in depth, but like, I kind of hate that it's not empty anymore, so I can't like really, really show you <laughs> the true look of it but you get the idea, I think, from these vlogs. It's kind of overwhelming, like, thinking about, I'm like, wow, I've done so much, yay, like, there's no more boxes in here, like, there's space, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, that other room is very, it's a lot, it's a lot. So I'm trying to, like, break it into just manageable chunks. I also don't want to be wasteful with the stuff that I already have, like, the beautiful artwork that I already have, but at the same time, I'm like, it doesn't go with the new space, like, what? Uh, I don't want to like force it and try to make it work if it's not like the vibe. I'm also just still trying to decide the vibe. Like what is the vibe of the place? I have a bunch of opinions coming from people who are like some family members who are like into interior de decorating and even interior designers themselves. Then I have some outside opinions from other interior designers. So like I feel like it's not that I'm working with one and they're doing the whole place. I'm just kind of like getting a hodgepodge of opinions because I also want to see like what my opinion is. Working with an interior designer is so, so fun and a really cool process, but at the same time, like I feel like I need to add my own flair to the place and like sometimes picking up furniture is fun. Like if I'm, you know, out and about in Brooklyn shopping, I want to be able to, you know, be like, oh, this chair is so our apartment, you know? I feel like that is an important part of it too. So I'm trying to leave space for that and not try to like rush to get it all done. We're almost in built in a day. I'm gonna just be kind of around here today I've been also like decluttering at the same time, just being like, do I really need this many makeup bags? Do I really need, like it's forced me to look at myself and I've been doing a lot of Goodwill trips. <laughs> we'll say that. I think that's it for now. I'm gonna be hanging here. Happy Sunday. Look at how good this boba looks. There are a lot of boba places in the new neighborhood, so I'm trying this one. It's really good. I've had like such a rotting day, I feel like, just like on the couch. I feel like I've been tired, I've just been, I don't know, just having a lazy Sunday. I'm watching Bridgerton, the first like four episodes are out, so now I'm, I'm on the last one of the four. Like that's my night. I got some boba before, walked around. All right, guys, we're about to head to Manhattan. We're gonna go, we have a lunch meeting and then we're recording a podcast. So I threw up this dress that I rented from Fashion Pass. Breezy, casual. I threw my hair up. I have this bag that actually fits like a ton. This is from Polen. I should know, I just went. This is my fit this morning. Slept on the new bed. It was incredibly comfortable and it's a king bed and it really does make a difference. It's so big and nice. So let's go to Manhattan and have a little day there and then we'll come back, get some work done. You know how it goes. Back in the East Village. You're giving um, cool businesswoman lunch today. Hugs, meetings. meetings, meetings. Yeah, let's just finish our little meeting. Just on a little stroll now. On a little stroll of the <laughs> studio. It's a beautiful day. There's really day. no complaint. No, this is the perfect weather. It's just still. You know, it's just like not kind of like. Yeah, it's still. If, nothing could rock the boat. Uh huh. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next day. I am lurking the streets of Brooklyn, exploring the new neighborhood. We're walking around. It's a little overcast, but the birds are chirping. I just love like exploring the new area. I love how Brooklyn, like, the, I mean, everywhere, you know, in New York, it's like different pockets of different neighborhoods, but I just love how, like, cozy this feels. Almost like suburban. It makes me so happy. This counter now is getting sealed, which is exciting. I had to get the plumbing removed <laughs> to get it sealed. It's like a special 
sealant. It's like a film. And then in two days, once it's settled, I can have them put back in the sink so that I can use it. I'm just excited to like have that done because then I can really just use my kitchen. And then after that, I think we're done with this room in terms of like stuff I'm getting done. The other like project that I'm thinking of, I'll show you in a sec, but we're burning this new home candle. I think I showed it. I got a really cool package from Febreze, including, look at this guys, a bedazzled bottle of Febreze. Are you freaking kidding me? When I opened this, I think I shrieked. Put it on my Instagram story. I know some of my furniture just got here, but I'm pretty sure it's like in boxes has to be assembled. So I don't know if that's gonna be getting done today, but that's a project. This is the second bathroom or the office slash like extra bedroom bathroom. I wanna do glass here. So, and a lot of, I was getting some comments like, oh my gosh, you bought an apartment that doesn't even have a tub. I guess I didn't make it clear that this is fully a tub that I'm like not taking out. Like I will be, you know, I wanted to have something that has a tub and this does. So I just realized this little scratch. I'm like, <laughs> what? Every time I find like a little scratch or something, I get so upset with myself. I'm like, did I do that? Or did I not catch it? But then I'm like, in the scheme of life, I'm like, it's a fucking scratch. Like I have to like chill. At some point, like I have to relax and let things go. Like it's gonna happen. And like, if it could come out, it could come out. If not, no one's gonna come over here and be like, it was a beautiful place, but like, damn, she had a scratch on her tub. <laughs> what? I filmed a ad in here for book of the month. So I moved everything from like the back corner of the room because I wanted to film on the ledge, like book nook. I'm gonna make that into a book nook. So I had to move everything up and <laughs> this is still the, the chaos room. This is what's like to be worked on. We're gonna put some shelves there, maybe a custom, like a cushion, custom cushion, sorry. Cause I was sitting here before catching up with Mariah on the phone and I was looking out and the view from here is beautiful because you get like a true downtown Manhattan view that is so pretty. I can't, in person it just is even better because you could really see like the boats go by and everything just, oh my God. I wanna get a pair of uh, binoculars, <laughs> not so that I can creep on people, but just so that I can like see that stuff closer. I feel like it would be a cool way to, I don't know. Is that weird? No, like people have like telescopes and stuff, right? It's not that I, I, I just wanna be able to look at the skyline closer. Maybe like a monocular, so it's not as like intense. I don't know, something. <laughs> and I have to say, we've been sleeping on this Helix mattress and absolutely loving it. 10 out of 10, thanks to them for sending that and working with me on this video. Although the only con is that we don't have king bed sheets right now. We just put down like two queen sheets and we're like making it work. <laughs> the king bed stuff should be coming soon. But I feel like this gives perspective that even with the king bed, like there's gonna be plenty of room still in this room. It's, it's a really big room, so that's awesome. So we can put like two side tables for sure, comfortably. I think I'm gonna be able to keep my vanity just in that position, which I love. I'm gonna get a different dresser, but a dresser, TV on the wall here, and it will be cute and cozy, a perfect bedroom. I just posted moving vlog number two, and I just wanna say thank you again for spreading kindness on the videos i really appreciate you guys that was like the video where i had like a freak out about things just like being all over the place and the apartment door just everything and i just want to say thank you guys for all of the love and that i feel very like supported by this community and it's like inspiring me to get the videos up as fast as i can i swear that's like my only priority right now actually i should be a little bit more focused on like unpacking that room but instead i'm like i gotta get these moving blogs up i have you guys sitting on the box of the frame tv that my parents so kindly got me that was so nice that's like their their gift to me for this apartment they were like what could we get you that's like you know something that you'd use in the apartment like furniture or something and i was like honestly guys i've always wanted a frame tv and they were like okay say less and i love them for that that was really so nice of them i'm gonna see them soon i know they're coming to the city next week multiple days so Excited to hang with them. I'm still getting used to this. I feel like I need to run the dryer again, but I feel like I've run it like 80 million times. But the things still feel a little damp. <laughs>